like a catcher that's scared to block, because that could be a big issue with younger guys, right? Yeah. Baseball.com. I'm here with my man Leo Rojas, six year professional catcher in the Giants organization. In this video, we're going to talk about blocking because blocking is super important for catchers. If you're a catcher, catching coach, watching this video, pay attention because he's got some great tips on how to block the proper way. Because if you're blocking balls or you're late letting balls go through your legs here or bouncing them off this way, bouncing them off that way, guys are going to be running all day on you. So pay attention in this video. Leo's got a really great Instagram page. I want you guys to go check out at Leo BSBL, Leo Rojas baseball go check them out on instagram we are at the u triple sa space coast complex 15 beautiful turfed out fields in fact i scout for their all american program and this year we're going to be traveling again doing 10 tryouts across the country so check the link in the description to see if we're coming to a town near you let's get into it tell us everything you know about blocking <laughs> we got all day so blocking is you know basically for me actually the number one and number two thing about catching number one is receiving because we're receiving 100 percent of the time right so if you're a good receiver now you got to get the blocking part done okay so blocking is really important because pitchers are going to be throwing the balls in the ground we got to make sure we stop them all right so blocking basically for me if you stop the ball however you do it that's gonna work all right because in the games you don't have to look pretty you you know there's no form you stop the ball that's good now we work on form because we want to put ourselves in the best in the best position possible to be able to get that ball to hit right in the middle of our belly so that's why we work on form right we, we get a form so we get in front of the ball with time with good posture and we're gonna keep that ball in front okay so when I work on blocking, there's two ties that we could use, right? So the number one, the, the first one, the one that I teach the most is I teach my kids to lead with the glove, right? If we actually, if we're, in, we're in this position, right, and we're leading with the glove, the glove is already down, we go here. We lead with the glove, like trying to catch a ground ball, right? Because we're already seeing that ball getting down. We turn it, now our body's just gonna follow, right? If I'm gonna lead with my legs, if I go here, we might be too late for that pitch because we're gonna turn our glove this way and then when we get here, the ball might just go right under us, okay? So that's why for me it's very important that we lead with the glove, position ourselves, protect the, the throwing arm, all right? Just, you can put it just like that and then put it behind the glove and then make sure you have a nice posture, right? If we go too tall, the ball's gonna bounce up, all right? If we get too small here, ball might hit it hit the mask and then go back, all right? So have a nice posture right here with your chest. See the ball coming down, all right? That's the number one thing. Now, we might also do what we call or replace your feet with your knees, right? Which is this one right here. It's a little more aggressive. And that's a good one that we could use for maybe a pitch that you're not sure if it's gonna bounce. And you get that last second movement and you just get on that block. You, you got that nice and sharp, 12 to 6 breaking ball, we're not sure if that ball is gonna bounce, and we're following, whoa, boom, and we just get on this position out here, okay? So we're gonna do a little bit of a demonstration right here. One of my favorite catching drills for catchers that they actually, maybe they're, they were middle infielders or infielders, and they're used to catching ground balls, and then when they block the ball, they just bring their, their hands up. We're gonna start right here with, with your hands up, and then as the ball is coming, we're gonna get in this position at the same time. That makes sure that the catcher doesn't bring the glove up because he's not gonna have time for that, okay? So that's gonna teach you just keep the glove down and stay there, okay? Start hands up. One more. All right, so as you can see, you're gonna get that glove down with time. It's gonna take a little bit of extra time that it would normally do from here and that's going to make that catcher to not move that glove up. So eventually, obviously, you want to start here and then let's go one more. Boom. Get out here and get in that position. Hopefully, that catcher doesn't bring it up, okay? So the next one that we're going to do, we're going to talk about reaction time. You could be the best blocker. You could block every single ball. If you don't react, if you don't get up fast enough, you're not going to get that right out on the next base, all right? So reaction is really important. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of balls so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put about four baseballs 
or tennis balls around this area right here. We're gonna work on that dog walk, which is important for catchers to feel comfortable, right? So we're gonna dog walk. As soon as you hit the ground with your knees, you're getting that step up as quick as possible. I'm gonna show the whole drill. Dog walk, dog walk, dog walk. All right, and you can do the same thing going back. So that's a really good drill for catches that take a long time to get up from their blocking position. So that's, that, that, that's a good way to get them going quick, right? Catcher is that position that, you know, younger kids, they like to go slow a little bit, a little bit slower. You gotta get that energy out of them. You gotta get that explosiveness. You know, you gotta get them going when you work with, catch, with younger catchers. Those are some really great drills. We're using tennis balls right now because I forgot to ask Leo to bring his mask and stuff. So you can do this drill with baseballs. You oh, can yeah. typically, it, but make sure obviously you got your chest protector, your face mask, obviously safety first. One thing I was realizing when I was throwing this to you, this may be also good using tennis balls for a guy that's scared, like a catcher that's scared to block, because that could be a big issue with younger guys, right? Yep. You know, that's a really good point, actually. So tennis balls are great for catchers, younger catchers that are, you know, scared of the ball. That is one of the hardest things to like take away because not every catcher or young catcher or you know a kid that wants to be a catcher gets over that that fear of getting hit. But so the one thing that I told my catchers is that with good form, if you have you know good form, if you improve your form, that's gonna allow you to block the ball in the right spot instead of getting hit. You know, and the other thing is that you know when it comes to fear, right? If you tense up, this is gonna happen. When you tense up, you go mm, like that. And that's gonna just that's, that's what's gonna get you hit right here. If you relax and breathe out, you actually your arms are gonna get in a comfortable spot right here, and then you're gonna have the whole, you know, your whole chest and, and belly area to work with. Were you a guy that liked to wear anything on his arms or anything like protection-wise there or anything like that? I did. I did. I, I used some evil shield, the evil shield protection, and then some tape as well, you know, but nothing too crazy. You don't want it to get too heavy as well. And then when you throw the ball, like I, I usually only wear it on my, on my catching arm because the, the, on my throwing hand, it will be extra weight or even I will actually like slide out. So, you know, I don't, you don't want that. What I'm realizing in catching that there's a lot to do with timing. Like with the blocking, you gotta be on time. If you're late, it can get past you. If you're too early, you can't move if it's bouncing one way or the other. Cause you gotta think too from, at least this is my perspective from a pitcher, if I, as a righty, I'm throwing a breaking ball, when it bounces, it's actually gonna bounce the opposite way. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that maybe you could touch on that, like the bounces of the balls and, and anticipating that. Is that something Definitely. you're thinking about? Yeah, so that, that's, that's a good point because when I work with uh, blocking drills with my catchers, some of them, they start guessing. They know I'm gonna bounce it up. So they get to that position way too early, right? I mean, there's, so one thing that I work with my catch, with my younger catchers, is this drill where we actually just roll the ball. The ball is just coming at me slow. And then I gotta see the ball, wait for the ball, and then actually, react and block the ball. So we're gonna, we're gonna just show it off right now. So basically I'm gonna get on my catching stance right here and the ball's gonna be coming slow. Boom. And I'm just gonna react when the ball is here. So I'm gonna start with my glove up. Boom. And then react and the ball is coming here. So we can go, we actually could also go to the sides and work on pitches that are gonna be, boom, maybe on this side, maybe on the other side as well. Over here around, boom, and get your body around the ball. So that is a really good drill for catchers that are, you know, maybe guessing. Because what guessing is gonna do is they're gonna get here too early. And then the ball hasn't even gotten here yet. And then they start doing this or this. They start seeing the ball for too long, they wanna protect itself. Instead of, if you react to the ball, the ball is coming at you, the ball is coming, it's getting close, boom. That reaction, that's the one that's gonna give you that guy in that nice spot to be able to block the ball. So again, just going back to that timing aspect, huge aspect of timing when it comes to blocking. But we also talked in a previous video about the receiving and how important timing is to beat the ball to the spot or time the ball to the spot. That's a great video. I'll leave the link down below where you can watch it. We talk about the one knee down technique and the receiving where you're pulling it up or pulling it across. Leo had a bunch of great tips in that video, a bunch of great tips in this video, all the videos we shot today. So I'll leave all those links down below where you can watch those. Again, go check them out on Instagram at Leo B S B L Leo Rojas Baseball. Really good stuff over there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed, click the bell so you're notified when all these new videos come out. If you got any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. We'll see you in the next one.